Welcome to A-Team Support. Today we're going to be discussing basic Zoom training, how to set up your own account, and how to utilize Zoom to better communicate with your downline and potential customers. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is to pull up your browser. I use Mac, so mine is Safari, but Zoom works with all browsers. Go to the address line or the address bar and type in zoom.us. That's Z O O M dot U S. Then hit enter. This will take you to the Zoom platform where you can sign up for your free video conferencing um, account. You'll need a current email address because as soon as you hit sign up for free, it'll send you an email to confirm that it is in fact you wanting a Zoom account. Now go to your email that Zoom sent you so that you can activate your account. Once you click here, it will take you to the very next page welcoming you to Zoom. And this is where you actually enroll. You'll type in your name, your last name, and it'll ask you to enter a password twice. So I suggest you write it down and then simply hit continue and you will be ready to start your first meeting. After you click on Start My Meeting Now, Zoom will take you to one more prompt, and that is offering a download of one of their icons so that you can uh, locate it on your computer to make your access very easy. Last thing before starting uh, your first Zoom meeting is making a decision whether a basic free program or a professional program is right for you. The only real difference is that in the basic a free version, you do not get to choose your ID number, they will assign one for you. In the professional account, you can sign your own ID number. And secondly, um, the meetings, uh, the basic meetings are limited to 40 minutes when there's more than two people, and the professional meetings are unlimited amount of time. Other than that, the programs are very similar. So with my application open, I'll just click on start with video and here we are and there you are and how are you and let's organize this a little bit. First two things I want to show you is how to mute yourself. It's at the very bottom of the screen right here you'll see the microphone. The microphone is live and that's why it's jumping. I'll just click on that microphone and if I was actually in the Zoom program my sound would be deadened and if I've got noise going on in the room I might need to mute my mic, uh, especially when there's a large conference going on. And I'll just open that back up. Then with video, it's the same thing. If you're having a bad hair day or you just won't want to be on the screen, just click on the video and the picture you have in your profile will come up and uh, that can be just about anything you want it to be. So let me turn this back on. And um, next I'm going to show you how to do a screen share. It's very simple. Screen sharing seems to be the thing that throws a lot of people off, but I hope after this you'll see that it really is simple and something that just all of us can do. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll see the green box that says, green sh that says screen share. All you need to do is click on that and then come up to your desktop window that it offers, click on that and hit screen share, and here we are, sharing the screen. Now, let me tell you what's dynamic about this. My computer, and the things that I have on there that I want to show you are all available to me. I will open up my browser as an example and take you to ASEA Global, whoops, lowercase, ASEAGlobal.com. Now you and I are having a conversation and I'm telling you all about ASEA and everything is at my fingertips. If I want to specifically talk about Redox Supplement, I click on there and the program is still active. If I want to show you a video, it's going to be a little loud. Watch this. So we can both watch this video together. If I want to give it the entire screen, bottom right hand corner, and we're watching By the time screen. that you notice that something in your body feels off, yourself. The way I made it small again was I simply hit the escape button on my keypad. That in a nutshell is screen share. If I want to show you a document, I simply go to my folders, wherever I have them saved, and, and open up whatever it is that I would like to show you. 
And it doesn't matter if it's a picture like this or if it is uh, another video. But that is screen sharing. And the last thing you'll want to know how to do is how to unscreen share. At the very top, it says stop sharing. You simply click here and you have given the, uh, the controls to another person or back to the host of the Zoom meeting. You may have a meeting that you want to record. Very simple. Go to the menu at the bottom and you'll see this white button. It says record. Simply click on here and you'll notice at the top left hand corner of your screen a red light is flashing and the word recording is beside it. If you scroll over this it'll give you an opportunity to pause so you don't have to record if you're leaving the room for a moment come back in and unpause and you have that same option down here on the menu you can pause right here or you can let it run right here now the square box is for you to stop recording and you'd simply just hit stop now the last thing that's going to happen is at the end of the meeting then zoom will automatically create a small a uh, little tape for you, ever how, whatever portion of the meeting that you uh, recorded. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to end the meeting, and I'm going to say yes, end. And then it closes Zoom, and notice what it's doing now is it's actually creating a video and a soundtrack, and it brings it up in its own folder with that specific date and time, and it saves it in your documents, in your computer, but here's what we just recorded. Let me show you how this comes out. It looks like this. Here we are. And click on here. And you'll notice at the top left-hand corner of your screen, a red light is flashing, and the word recording is beside it. So that's what we just did. We just made this little video of the Zoom meeting. And that's all the more difficult recording a meeting is. Before we finish up, let me show you a couple of other things that you can do with your basic free Zoom account. If you need to invite somebody to a meeting, there is an icon on the menu bar that says invite, has a little person's head on there. When you click on invite, it literally brings up the email that you have on this computer. Click on your email account and it will open up your email and here you can type in um, an individual and send them right from here an invitation. It has all the information that they need to know to get onto the meeting right now. Uh, this is very handy. There we go. This is very handy if we have, if you have a situation where um, somebody is texting you or, or calling in and they don't know how to get onto the meeting. You don't have to stop the meeting. You can literally invite them from Zoom and that gives them all the information they need to get on to that particular meeting with you. I've just sent an invitation to Bobby Martin and I want to show you what it looks like when somebody joins a meeting. Hello Bobby Martin. Howdy howdy. How are you doing? I'm substantially above average. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing good. We are finishing up our training video today. Okay. Today. And I wanted, uh, I wanted those that are learning to see what it looks like, what the interface looks like when somebody actually calls in. All righty. Well, Bobby, how's it look on your side? Looks perfect. Sounds good, too. Good. Bobby, I want you to um, just show them how you can uh, screen share from your side. Okay. And, uh, I've already shown them how to do a screen share, but you being a participant, still have that opportunity. Sure, absolutely. So we're recording right now. Hello, Jerry. It's a Zoom bomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby, right. do a screen share. So we're actually seeing Bobby's computer screen right now. All right. Uh, yeah, let me just show you what I would. Let's say, let me take you to my, let's see a business coach. So Bobby, you can, you can use this uh, when you're training people on how to use Genie as well. Absolutely, I do it all the time. That yeah, looks great. And it's, uh, I mean, if, if I wanna show somebody how to enroll, you know, I simply take them into my back office. Right. Just real simple here, I'm gonna get my 
right into your back office. And you can show them, you can actually do some back office training on Zoom, can't you? Absolutely. Show people exactly what to do and how to do it. Man, that's fantastic, Bobby. All right. Makes it possible to do business pretty much anywhere in the world that has an internet connection. All right. Well, thank you, Bobby. I sure appreciate it. Happy to do it. We'll close everything out, and uh, you're going to be part of this perpetual training program. All right. Thanks, All right, Mark. Man. Have a great day. Thanks, Mark. Right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that pretty much does it. That's how to use Zoom. Uh, it's perfect for when you have new associates do a little bit of training, as you saw with Bobby Martin. You can teach them how to get into their back office and how to maneuver around. Uh, you can also use it for training purposes and for communicating and building camaraderie and teamwork. We have team meetings every week. And it's really awesome to get to see people and, uh, and bring information back and forth in a community uh, like Zoom. And the last thing before we finish up is down here in the bottom screen is the word end meeting. It's all the more difficult it is. I'm going to end this meeting and then I'm going to show you a few things about setting up your profile. Here's a quick tip from Trish. Open up your browser and in the address bar type in HTTPS colon forward slash twice, zoom.us, forward slash j, forward slash, then you type in the number of the Zoom meeting that you're wanting to attend or that you're opening. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. It's how to put a picture into your personal profile. Open up your Zoom account. For me, I'm going to click on this arrow down. It says upgrade to pro. Well, I don't really want to do that, but I want to see where this picture comes from. So I can simply click change and then I can upload pictures that I have in my computer. And that's all the heart of that is. It gives you your personal ID number back here in your profile and a place for your password if you should ever need to change it. Plus there's a lot of information over here on the left uh, for you to, to really understand that we're only scratching the surface with Zoom. I hope this training has been helpful for you. I sure appreciate uh, A-Team support and all that they do for each and every one of us. God bless you guys.